Evening, everybody. It's 6.15 on Tuesday, <clears throat> and this is your closing comment. It is video number 1,461 for this Tuesday afternoon. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Today's market was ugly. Um, it actually was worse during the day. Uh, at the low point today, I believe it was uh, down about 550. And it closed down 313, so it did rally back, but unlike yesterday, could not get back to the green. In fact, it was never in the green today. It started to the downside and um, just continued. Um, so we were down 313 or 1%. NASDAQ was down 110 or 95%. The uh, S&P was down... A 1.13%, $43.96. The Russell looked like it was going to be the biggest loser, down 26.34 or 1.4, but the transportations for the second day in a row came in as the biggest loser, and it was a substantial loss, down 296.37 or 2.27%. Uh, the VIX was really not all that high considering what's gone on and frankly I don't know whether that's a good thing or a bad thing it's been a pretty orderly decline and of course the best thing in the world for it probably would have been you know a more substantial drop and a little bit of a rally but we didn't get that um, advanced declines on the NYSE were 5 to 1 to the downside and 2.6 to 1 to the downside over on the NAS. Uh, volume was decidedly low at 3.9 billion. Yesterday, um, it was up in the uh, 5 billion area, 4.1 billion uh, yesterday, I'm sorry, uh, but that's off uh, an average of late of about 5 billion. So 3.9 is particularly low. Um, in the Dow, we had 28 down and only two up, and the two that were up were pretty insubstantial, uh, Apple and Boeing. Boeing was up a fraction. Apple was up, you know, $2. Uh, on the downside, we had Home Depot leading the way down 41 Dow points, Goldman Sachs pairing 35, and Nike taking 32 off the Dow. Um, Ford was a huge loser today. You remember that they warned yesterday. And after they warned yesterday, the stock had closed 1493 and it was up a little. Last night, it was 1428 down 44 cents. This morning, it was 14. 22 and that was down 71 cents, but it fell as low as 1301 and the last was 1315 down 178 so it made yesterday look like child's play um there were a couple of stocks that i noticed today uh, i mean most of the um, mega cap stocks were down um, and you know some of them down pretty substantially uh, we had, uh, as I said, the only two in that group, Boeing was up 92 cents and Apple was up 238 and everything else was lower. Um, and the XLK, which is the um, ETF, 128.89 down 55 cents or 0.42. So not terrible. Uh, we had PGY. This is one I mentioned to you yesterday and again this morning. This is an Israeli AI-based financial services company. Um, like some of the others of late, they use financial, uh, they use um, AI, artificial intelligence, um, to decide on who to make loans to. Uh, the stock has really been all over the place of late um, it hasn't been around that long um, 
it was uh, about a five. It was a spec, I guess, uh, read into a spec, um, and it's only been around since June the twenty third, and, and when it was seven dollars, when the spec deal came out, it went from a low of two and three quarters to a high in seven days, two and three quarters to 34 and a half, and of course came right back down. It had closed yesterday at uh, $6.99, which was down 88 cents or 11%. Today, it was $2.36 down four dollars and 63 cents or 66 percent and the only news that i've seen there was that there was a lockup of shares that couldn't be sold that we now have had um another little one like this uh sobr sobr is uh called sober safety uh, this is a company that has a transdermal patch and what it does is it measures the amount of alcohol in your blood you would think that would be very intrusive on a large basis and you'd be right except that there are certain industries and certain businesses within those industries who are very concerned about this problem let's go with train engineers 16 wheeler 18 wheeler drivers um, on the interstate and so um, this is just a matter of checking up to make sure that they're not letting anybody go to be a driver if they have alcohol level of however they choose to decide in any event uh, the stock was as high, it was an uplist to NASDAQ, it was as high as 220, uh, 250 back in May, came all the way down and traded into the 80 cent range, moved sideways, and then in August moved from 98 to a high of about $1.75 in a period of about three days, came back down. Uh, as I said, had closed yesterday at 91 cents, down two cents this morning. It opened at 91 cents, so it was unchanged, and the stock traded as high as $4.17, with the last of 276 up a dollar eighty-five, or 202 percent. And one more little one like this. I've been mentioning it repeatedly. Um, because it's kind of an interesting deal because they actually have something. It's called Shutter Pharma. Pharma. Uh, S-H-P-H. It came at uh, eight and a quarter a couple of weeks ago. And uh, they had uh, some really breakthrough uh, stuff for, I can't remember exactly what the... Uh, illness was. I'll look it up and tell you tomorrow morning. Uh, but it came at eight and a quarter. It opened at 24, went up to 84.70, and then came back down and closed at 38.48, which was still a pretty nice gain. The next day, which was last Thursday, or two Thursdays ago, and it traded as high as 126 and a quarter, closed at 52.40, and that was up uh, almost $14, or another 36%. Remember, it was an $8 deal. Anyway, the stock came all the way back down to the 12, 11 and 3 quarters, 12 area, rallied back up to about 45, and then um, on Thursday of last week just collapsed from a high of 39 and change to 1580. Uh, lower again the next day, a little up the day after that, which was yesterday, and today closed at 8.38 down to dollar seventeen or 12 and a quarter percent. You know, I know that there are a lot of people who are um, desensitized to these kind of percentage moves, but it really is unusual to see something like this moving this way. Okay, chart on the screen is the 
issue as usual. U.S. dollar index looked like it was breaking down, turned back up hard, has now spent five days going sideways. This is the highest close there, and the highest close in this entire formation is 110 spot 20. We are trading at 109 spot 94, so we're not very far away from it. We could easily go to another new high, and of course, this is playing havoc with all of those stocks that uh, are international in scope. Um, a strong dollar really hurts our competitiveness outside the U.S. Uh, some of the others, uh, gold was down about um, 740 back to 1671 uh, silver was down s just 17 cents but it has been much stronger than the gold uh, and it's 1918 that gas was down three cents which is neither here nor there considering the distance that it has come to the downside of late uh, we had a big week last week or a big couple of days last week and uh, you know one day up 83 the next day down 79 so we came back into the 740 area closed uh, in the middle at 775 was a little bit higher this morning uh, closed down three cents, so not really much. I think it's really trying to hold this area. Also, the uh, oil down a dollar forty-two, but nowhere near that eighty-one oh three from yesterday's low. Closed eighty-three ninety-four. Uh, Bitcoin down five hundred. The dollar, as I said, up forty-eight cents. Bonds down about a point. So that's what I have for you. Tomorrow's the big day for uh, the Fed, and I'll be back first thing in the morning.